you know it's really annoying right these little short bits they're like push up at the back and it's really annoying anyways yeah my sister I won't stop texting me hi guys it's sarah and welcome back to my channel i'm sorry i've not posted why don't right i feel like the this oftenly gets said in my videos but i mean if i've got nothing to film i'm not gonna film for the sake of it so yeah <laughs> that's my excuse anyway anyway i just want to say i hope you all doing well and yeah so i've been shopping in primark so I'm going to do a little Primark haul. I didn't get a lot. I got some very good bargains. And yeah, I just thought I would share with you what I got. I love watching Primark videos, like shopping hauls, stuff like that. So that is why I'm doing this video today. Because it's something that I'm interested in watching myself. And yeah. <laughs> so I just want to put out there that I'm not like bragging about all this. Because like, yeah. Um, I've not really spent that much anyway. I think the dearest thing that I actually bought was £20. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm really not bragging. But yeah, so I thought I would show you guys and I hope you enjoy this. And hopefully there's going to be some more shopping videos because I need to buy holiday stuff. So yeah, but yeah, I thought I would do it. And yeah, I don't know what else to say now apart from let's get into the video of me showing you what I bought. And I hope you enjoy. So yeah, let's jump into it. So here's my Primark bag. I did go to two different Primarks and I bought one thing from one. Well, I technically bought two things from a Primark, basically. Okay, this is probably going to go live before the vlog. But I say vlog, it's not really a vlog because it's kind of a fail of vlog. But I'm still going to post it anyway for memories on my vlogging channel and basically me and my sister went to see Olimers in Manchester and we basically we was going to try and meet him then we were like really short for time to go shopping and then get back get something to eat get changed and go to his gig so we just kind of like ran in Primark in Manchester and got and looked at two main things I needed because basically I didn't have a gig outfit for like Oliver's, I was literally in leggings and a hoodie because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I put on a bit of weight and I don't fit into my jeans anymore, so I desperately needed something to wear. So we basically just ran into Primark in Manchester, got a pair of jeans and some cargoes, and then I think I tried on like the cargoes and one pair of jeans and was like, right, it's fine, I'll just get the next size up because the jeans didn't fit. And then we went home, and then I got home, well, say home to my mum and dad's, when we got there, I thought I'm going to wear the jeans that I picked up the extra size in, in to the gig and I tried to put them on and I couldn't fasten them up. It was basically the same pair of jeans. Well, I thought it was the same pair of jeans. I didn't have a tag on, but a different colour and it turns out it wasn't. So I know that Primark jeans are just like horrendous sizing as it is. Like you could be an eight in one pair of jeans and then you could be like a 10 in another and a 12 in another it's so annoying but yeah so i risked it because we were short for time um and i didn't fit in them so i had to return them so we went into preston shopping center and i returned to them and i got some other bits so basically we went to two primax so in manchester i did get some cargoes which is what i'm going to start off with and i absolutely love these cargoes they're probably like one of my favorite items of clothing at the moment and i ended up wearing the cargoes to the gig so these are what they are so it's basically these black cargoes and they're basically just like straight down and they've got like the cuff at the bottom and then it's got like these drawstrings to pull them in they actually are a bit too big on me but the next size down was too small which is a bit annoying so i do have to tuck them in so they're not just sticking out randomly which is yeah but basically i got an eight in these and the six was too small but the eight's too big so but i can pull myself in in these so it's fine and yeah it's got like two pockets at the front and one pocket at the back and I just absolutely love them because they look really nice with pretty much anything. And yeah, I love these so much. And 
they're such good quality as well i feel like i do want to get some other colors but the only thing is the colors that the other colors that they do i feel like i'm too pale for so maybe i need to like do a bit of fake tan and maybe buy them and do a bit of fake tan and then i can wear them but yeah i absolutely love these i'm obsessed with them they're probably my new favorite type of clothing and it's the first ever type of back like first ever time i've bought some cargoes uh, i know they're in fashion at the moment and i actually love this choice and these were 20 pounds which i think is really good for primark because it's really good material it's not like the cheap material which primark can sometimes do and i'm blurred right now there we go it's not the cheap like material that primark does sometimes do it actually feels like decent material and they're so comfy on and oh they've got an elasticated waist as well which is why you can pull them in with the toggles um but yeah i absolutely love these and for 20 pounds i am impressed i'm going to save the best deal to last tracy will know what the best deal is <laughs> i say to last i've got some, a bit of like stationery as well so i'll do the last clothing with the best deal right so next i'm going to show you some shorts that i got so basically me and my sister are going on holiday this year and I needed some shorts, so especially since I have put weight on. <laughs> so basically, I got these denim shorts. They're like mom shorts, and they're not too like, they're not like up your bum. <laughs> they don't show your bum, bum or anything. I'm just wondering why these were stuck on the back. I've just found them now. But yeah, so they're not like really short shorts, and that's what I love. And I can just see it nice with a little bikini top on, and yeah, in the, at the beach with obviously bikini bottoms underneath. And I absolutely love them. These were £11, so that's not bad for some jean... What do you... I call them denim shorts, but a lot of people call them jean shorts. So yeah, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I love how like, they've got the little detailing of the rolled up at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that because it's focusing on my face. And it's got obviously got your pockets, your denim loop belts and for 11 pounds honestly they are nice bargain and they are so comfy on as well i did try these on i wasn't risking it after last time <laughs> yeah they're so comfy i love the color of them i love how they're like they're a light blue and i just like can imagine it with like a bikini top on walking down to the beach and yes 11 pounds not bad at all next so next i picked up some other shorts i got some more like flowy flowy ones i do have something similar to this i'm pretty sure but these probably fit better than what they do now i've not actually tried them on but i've just got these black like flowy material kind of shorts and it's got like i think they're called like scallop detailing i'm not sure though so obviously don't tell me that it's like yeah i don't know if you can see it um and they just said flow it and again i could see this over some bikini shorts um and they're a high rise as well which is really really good and yeah i just love the material's really thin as well so going abroad in the heat it's just going to be really nice like material and it's not going to make you sweat or anything like that i just i absolutely love them um and again they're not too short so i can't really complain about them and these were only £3.50, so you can't really go wrong <laughs> with these. The Again, they do them in different colours, um, but I just picked up... I think they did them in different colours. I'm sure they did them in, like, a khaki colour as well, but I'm not a khaki girl. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, they've got, like, this rib material on it as well. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. There we go. So, they've got, like, a rib material and an elasticated waist and i just love them three pound fifty bargain now the last item of clothing is an absolute bargain i got some jeans right these mom jeans just plain simple not even elasticated simple plain nice like mid blue mom jeans and the, to believe, believe it or not, these are the same. I'm pretty sure. Let me have a look. Yeah. So the black ones that I got from Primark in Manchester. This is how horrible the sizing is in Primark. Were some vintage mom jeans. 
exactly the same as these but in black I've just got the same size as what I bought in Manchester that fit me way better than what the black did tell me how that makes sense Primark <laughs> anyway I can't really complain um they're just basically this like a mid blue so like not really light blue not really dark blue um standard mom jeans can't go wrong with them they'd look nice with pretty much anything they've got your pockets two pockets at the front the zip up the button and your two pockets at the back as well so basically like a standard pair of mom jeans can't go wrong um these didn't have a tag on when i first like picked them up so i looked at the jeans that were around it and we we're thinking right so maximum really is going to be about 20 pounds because that was the max that we could find in a pair of jeans so when i took them to the till i was expecting mm, it's going to be about 20 pounds at max she typed it in and it's definitely the right number that she typed in because they literally say vintage mom jeans three pounds guys <laughs> i was absolutely buzzing that these were three pounds like honestly I, my sister literally afterwards i was like guess how much the jeans were and she was like what and she was like you're gonna, you're gonna say about 30 pound aren't you now and i was like divide it by 10 and she thought i'd done my maths wrong and she was like what three pound i was like yeah <laughs> honestly bargain of the day three pound jeans and they're super comfy like i actually love the fact that i got a bargain and it was meant to be because obviously i returned the black jeans that didn't fit and the black jeans were £18, so £18, £3, I've definitely got a really good deal there. So I was absolutely buzzing with that. Honestly, I asked my sister, I kept going on about it all the time. I was absolutely buzzing and I still am. I'm still telling people that I got a pair of jeans for £3 in Primark, honestly. <laughs> the material's like amazing as well, it's quite a thick material, so it's proper denim um so yeah three pounds what can you say <laughs> right next we're gonna go on to footwear now everybody gets these in primark honestly can't go wrong with them especially by the beach by the pool whatever one pound flip-flop guys one pound flip-flops in white and black done solid that's all i need for the holiday black and white flip-flops goes with any outfit they're the foamy material ones Honestly, you just can't go wrong with one pound flip-flops from Primark. Even if, like, they rip, they're a pound. You can't really complain. And they go with pretty much any outfit as well. And, yeah. Me and my sister... Well, I think my sister ended up with two, the white or the black. She ended up with one colour, not the other, because the other one weren't in a size. But, you tell me... Honestly, if you've been on holiday, you must have got these flip-flops from Primark at some point. Because... You just can't go wrong with them. It doesn't even matter if they snap because they're a pound. <laughs> Next, I got these little travel set, uh, travel set, travel set um, containers. It's got shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, and toner, cleanser. Oh, I'm saying this. This is what it will fit in there. Cleanser, eye makeup remover, moisturizer, and body lotion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five. Yes, named like eight things, but I only got five things in there. So I'm basically, I think I'm going to do like conditioner and shampoo. My face wash is going to go in this one because it comes with a pump, which is what my face wash is in. And then probably, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the other stuff. But yeah, I just got them because like we're only going for, we're not going for like a week. So I don't need much shampoo and conditioner and face wash. So I really can't go wrong with these and literally they were a pound as well so it doesn't even matter if they break or if i leave it behind at the hotel like you can't go wrong with one pound travel set can you really <laughs> my sister picked this up as well but she got it in the black i think um i got it in white because yeah <laughs> we don't want to get mixed up anyway but yeah so picked it up it was a last minute thing that i decided to pick up i think i got it I think I picked it up when I was at the till, whereas my sister picked it up when she saw it. And then I think I changed my mind on the way to the till. So I picked that up. So that's going to go in my luggage. Now, the last thing I did say it was only a small shopping haul. Last thing. 
that I picked up. Basically in work I'm doing um, a course, a BTEC course, and I needed like a notebook to help me study um, for like my exams and stuff like that. So I basically just wanted a new notepad and I didn't want to go to WH Smith because they pay a fortune and I saw online that they were super cheap in Primark. So the Primark that we went to has only got like a small, the tiniest stationery section um and then when we finally found it there was only a choice of two different like notebook pads but i thought i can't really go wrong because it was only two pound fifty for like an a4 notepad so i picked up this one because it's a bit of me because it's pink the other one was like loads of butterflies on and i think i preferred this one so i picked up this it's really thick so it's got loads of pages and it's got your dividers as well so i think that'll be really good because there's different modules on my course um, so it's going to be really good to like split it up and because it's a BTEC course I can actually take my notes in my exams with me so this is going to really really help me like revise and study because I'm the worst at studying for things like this and I really do want to like properly study as well and like pass my course um, especially since work's paying for it and yeah I just wanted to get myself a little booklet I, when I like literally I read the first page of when I started the course um, I only started it like last week but I read like the first page and I was like I can't even continue I really need to write this down so I've basically not touched it since I saw that because I really wanted a notepad and I knew I was going to Primark so I thought I'll pick up one at Primark and then I'll start my course again so now I feel in this video I can actually use it but I absolutely love it it's kind of like this like what would you call it like a splat <laughs> i don't actually know how to call the design it's got like gold um pink and white in the color and it's got like the binders like a gold color and it's just plain pink at the back would you class it as pink or purple i think it's a pink and it's got like your pink dividers in it as well like and then lined paper so that's if it's going to focus so lined paper and like a pink divider and i just think it's going to be really helpful for my course so i thought i'll pick that up and in total i only spent 43 pounds <laughs> i thought i was going to spend spending like 60 pounds altogether to be honest preston primark isn't that big um but it's just a few little bits that i've got no doubt i'm going to be going to primark again because I've got quite a while to go before my holiday anyway. But I'm trying to be prepared. Because normally I am so unprepared. That yeah. It's just ridiculous. So yeah. We're trying to be prepared. I say we. Tracy's always prepared. I'm not. Um, and yeah. So I've got some really nice things to start me off with holiday shopping. And general shopping as well. And I'm really happy with what I got. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because if you did, let me know because I'll be doing some more in the future if you enjoyed it, if it's something you kind of like. Like I say, I love watching these type of videos. That's why I decided to do this. And yeah, so basically I just wanted to say <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I do really, really appreciate it. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos just like this one. And yeah, I'll see you hopefully next week with another video i'm gonna try my best i just need to figure out what to film that's the thing actually if any of you guys have any suggestions of what i should film let me know in the comments below because it'll help me out massively and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another video bye